LAN Portal is a streamlined web interface that uses our most popular visualizations to help researchers and clinicians explore Omicsoft LANs. This video will give a short introduction to some basic features of LAN Portal. The LAN Portal can be accessed through the web browser and connects to the full array server. Server administrators can customize the items that are present on this page. Users can use the same login username and password managed by Array Server. Once logged in, users will have access to all the LANs normally accessible in Array Studio. The administrator can define which LAN is the default in your company. Here we use TCGA B37 by default. Similar to the LANs viewed in Array Studio, sample distribution of a LAN will be shown by default, with all samples in the LAN grouped by tumor type and stack bars with different colors to represent the sample types within the groups. Users can quickly query other LANs available in Array Server using the drop-down menu at the top of the screen. From the sample distribution view, users can easily filter samples using the categories on the left. For example, we can narrow down to tumor types of interest using tumor type. Here we'll select for bladder cancers, breast cancers, and glioblastomas. Clicking Apply will instantly update the view. Users can control the grouping for each view, such as changing to disease, to display the full name of tumor types. We can also search for genes, such as MDM2, and query multiple gene level details, such as gene FPKM. As you see, our filter is still applied on the left. In addition to the traditional option to filter samples, users can also double click sample types in the legend and bring back individual samples by single clicking. Selecting a few data points within the graph will activate the details view where sample details will be present. This data can be exported quickly to Excel with a single click of a button. Selecting an empty space in the graph will deactivate the detail table. The LAN portal contains the most popular filters used in Array Server. All metadata, including user-generated custom queries, will be available for use. For example, we can further filter for breast cancer samples using estrogen receptor status. Once this filter is added, it will be added to the view on the bottom left, and we can select for samples that have ER status data. Let's also filter for only breast cancer samples and apply this filter. We can use our new filter to further group our view. Now MDM2 expression is grouped by ER status. In addition to grouping by clinical metadata, we can also add custom queries in the portal. For example, we can query mutation status of TP53. This query will be added to the filters on the left side of the screen. We can further use this filter to group our expression view. We can see that TP53 mutations lead to lower expression in MDM2. To see how expression correlates between two genes, we can create a custom query for RNA-seq expression. Let's look at how MDM1 expression correlates with MDM2 expression. We will add an MDM1 query and use this query to group our MDM2 expression. We can see that MDM2 and MDM1 have a nice positive correlation in expression status. In addition to the gene FPKM view, there are additional views for gene level. Let's group back by tumor type and look at CNV to RNA-seq expression integration. We can see that samples with high expression correlate well with high copy number. While we have designed these charts to be optimally displayed, users have the ability to adjust multiple settings within the chart, such as chart height, colors, axis titles, and legend settings.